Pluto. Today's video is going to be all about fairies. I don't have a lot of experience or knowledge about fairies at all. All of the alternate consciousness that I wish to communicate with, the best method would be through a Ouija board. Who knows, maybe those videos will be future videos on my channel. That would be so fun. It smells really good in here. I did light sage and cedar before filming. My phone charger is broken. I could not get my phone to charge this morning. So a lot of it was spent with the apartment completely and totally quiet. Usually I'll have story times playing on YouTube, something like that, while I'm cleaning, while I'm cooking, while I'm doing my yoga, getting ready. But I didn't have any of that today. It was very silent. It was very peaceful. I don't know. It was a rare occurrence. So not only did I have a very quiet start to the day but I also sage and it's just a very interesting vibe going on in these streets. I want to bring in characters from the fairy realm. I don't know what they're going to entail. You're gonna have to use your imagination or if you have any previous research or insights about fairies or elves or anything of that sort I'd love for you to leave anything that you'd like to share in the comment section below. I'm going to do a different video on elementals. When we talked to E on the board, she definitely verified that fairies exist. I have asked a fairy for help years and years and years ago. That video is still on my channel and my story times playlist. So if you want to check that out, it was like right after I started believing in fairies and something really trippy happened. I'm going to keep this video more focused on them. I don't want to do advice in this video or ask too much about moments that they might have seen you in. I want to really kind of give them some extra love and attention today and just see what comes through about them. I was reminded while preparing this video of times when I'll find myself in moments where I'm challenging myself to think about anything other than something that has to do with humans. If you've ever done that, like the video, I'd be curious about that. Have you ever just laid in bed or just went about your day and just challenged yourself to spend time thinking about things that don't have anything to do with humans? That's what I was reminded of today when I was preparing this video. My intention with today's video is to bring us all smiles, enhanced awareness, and to spur feelings and thoughts of reverence because you can never have too much respect and reverence. I am offering private readings as well. Choose the type of reading that you want from my description box. Send me the corresponding payment and then email me with your name or a nickname and any additional information. If you do have yes no questions, I have decided to take those. I'll just have to amend them. Feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section and let's get on to talking to some fairies. Hello, pile number one. Let's ask our angels, spirit guides, friends, family, ancestors, aliens, our most benevolent, empathetic, connected beings to ourselves. But most importantly, the fairy that would like to come through for pile number one. What kind of fairy are you in terms of personality or type? How would you describe yourself? Love is definitely the first thing that comes to mind. By kissing my bliss, I electrify my relationship with life. They are an amorous kind of being. There's also a picture of lips. Hmm. When you follow your bliss, that thing that truly electrifies you, four things automatically happen. You put yourself in the path of good luck. You meet the person you want to know. Doors open where there weren't doors before and doors open for you that wouldn't open to anybody else. Joseph Campbell. Electrify yourself. Follow those smiles. This particular fairy is shy. It keeps to itself. It keeps to what it knows. It's just cozy, comfy, and it knows what it knows. 
probably like been around knowing what it's known for so long you know kind of like somebody who has stayed in the same house for 60 years we have the sun here in reverse by kissing my bliss i electrify my relationship with life is clarified by the two of pentacles in reverse so it's very firmly decided on what it loves it's firmly decided on what its bliss is it knows it's very wise and stable and sturdy it knows where it stands and it's very comfortable in the space that it that it's in the fairy mostly associated with pile number one would you like to let us know if you associate more with male or female energy swore that one of these cards just flipped right now but I don't see it okay so it's more male it's more of a male relating energy let's just give gratitude thank you for coming through and speaking today fairy what is your job or elf I don't want to be disrespectful I started it with fairy and I don't know if fairies and elves are two different things I'm just gonna keep it simple and call him a fairy what's your job everything on this planet serves a purpose yeah. somebody asked me what's my job I'd be like I'm doing the best I can guys if you guys have any questions that seem like good questions leave them in the comment section below but yeah to see what he wants to tell us about his job. My financial status does not dictate my happiness. Money makes me more of who I am, and I am an amazing person. His job is just to be himself, to integrate life as what it's been presented to him as. He's just doing what's right. He's being a responsible adult fairy basically his job is to be more of who he is his job is to be amazing just the way that he is he is like a loner fairy i'm not going to say that he doesn't interact with other beings but i am going to say that he definitely keeps to himself he definitely likes what he likes and knows what he knows and is where he is and has been there for a long time that's his job that's his job is just to be himself and to keep being what he is and to keep doing what he's doing. The frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. The frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home. What pleases you in general? What pleases you? Ooh, it's a party. He enjoys water. He enjoys being the king of his domain. He enjoys his sovereign dominion. He enjoys the feelings that are available to him, the feelings that flow through the planet. He might be really good at perceiving feelings, working in a balanced way with those feelings, allowance and alignment of feelings he's not alone he likes it when he's not alone so although he does spend a lot of time alone he likes it when he's not alone he likes being unbound and untrapped seeing things clearly the fact that the earth is moving flowing in a perceptual way he can perceive and experience a clarity about the earth there's something about population that he does enjoy. He does enjoy other things outside of his own domain and his himself and his planet. I mean, his space. I don't know if it's other people, other entities, other energies, but he does like a populated atmosphere. He likes the ethereal aspects of Earth things that aren't grounded in the 3D, obviously. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. This is another card that's telling me that he's not alone all the time. Although he is the kind of being that is introverted, he really does enjoy company of some kind or another. 
Maybe he's saying that he really enjoys coming through today. He's happy to be here. He likes when things happen quickly, when things happen fast, instant manifestation. He might also like technology. It might not be the kind of technology that we perceive as technology. Are you a fairy? If you are, leave something in the comment section. Let me know what he means. What pleases him about humans in particular, you know, this isn't about us. I'm feeling all of this energy in my hands, in my heart, goosebumps in my legs. He likes when we go out of our comfort zone. He really likes that. He also likes it that we're a little bit helpless. He probably thinks it's for the best that we're not these super powerful, magical wizards and witches wrecking havoc out on these streets. He's like, it's, it's, it's good that you guys are a little bit helpless. I'm not gonna lie. He's just being honest here. Thank you for watching. Let's just thank you so much for coming through. Thank you. So excited and happy to have gotten to talk to you. Thank you so much. I really hope that we get to talk to you again in the future. Thank you. Hello, pile number two. My nail, <laughs> I am pretty sure my nail is gonna freaking pop off at one point or another. Let's go ahead and ask our angels, spirit guides, our friends, our family, our ancestors, aliens, and most benevolent and pathetic connected beings to ourselves, but most importantly, the fairy that would like to come through for you, pile number two. What kind of fairy are you? What kind of fairy are you that would like to come through for pile number two? How would you like to describe yourself, whether that's personality-wise or anything else? I think they're really digging our perception of fairies being these mystical magical creatures they're like yeah dang right i am that magical being what's good i'm gonna think <laughs> you are a brew of the gods magic in the impossible you are creation with as much wizardry as any in the universe you have the ability to move freely and explore you have the gift of choice and communication. You were born equipped with a power that only gods have, the power to create. I am rich in miracles because I am the greatest miracle in the world. And we have a little genie lamp here. This fairy is savage. It's probably reincarnated a few times, I think, as itself, as a fairy, perhaps. It's responsible for making really huge shift, shifts and changes. It might actually be around to see the highest highs and the lowest lows of energy. Hmm. Let me clarify this for a bit more. Two of Cups. This fairy is interested in relationships that are built from intimacy. They like to be familiar with who they interact with on an, a deep and intimate level. And there are probably beings out there that are connected to them in different dimensions, etc., that they are aware of that they haven't gotten to actually reunite with. Like they might be re like related to you in some way or another pile number two, but you guys aren't able to reunite or connect because they're in a different dimension. Although they are the kind of being that is willing and open to share feelings, involved in the nitty gritty, wherever they are, successful, victorious. The frequency of the third eye chakra, the indigo flower of life supports our intuition and our inner knowing our imagination and our psychic powers. They're wise, intuitive. They're always ready to move forward. No matter what that means, they're ready to face the cycles of life and death. They're well rehearsed when it comes to the cycles of life and death. They know very well the notion of not being able to go backwards. They kind of choose and have to leave 
nostalgia and regret behind. They don't sit in regret or nostalgia. They're very straight and forthcoming with their words and their thoughts and ideas. They just let them come. They just let, they're very true to themselves and they just let it all flow naturally. They're not the most powerful crayon in the box either. They're always ready to take new opportunities to speak. I think that says like if, if any of you have a Ouija board out there that you know how to use responsibly, go ahead and talk to this particular fairy, the fairy that's coming through for you, pile number two. Or your tarot cards, they're always ready and open to express themselves and to take new opportunities to express their thoughts and ideas. I am rich in miracles because I am the greatest miracle in the world. I just want to know if they are, if they would like to explain if they're a more male or female dominant energy, a more male or female dominant energy. Thank you so much for coming through today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They're female. They're more female oriented. What's her job? Everything on this planet serves a purpose. Their job is to get right down into the core of themselves and make things happen from within. Her job is to watch over and be a part of the intrinsic processes that are necessary to make things be what they are. Hold boundaries as well not necessarily the kind of boundaries that we would think, but the kind of boundaries that make it possible for things to exist in the first place. Like we say, anything is possible. She's like, no, 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 no. This tree is going to grow and be this tree. The oxygen levels are gonna be this. <laughs> okay, victorious in her duty. Into wood. And like I did, I mentioned trees, furniture, stability in some way. Furniture supports us, is part of our everyday life. It helps us to rest. She helps heavy burdens be put down. She helps stabilize furniture or places where things rest. She's not part of 3D as we know it. She's not part of the world as we know it but that doesn't mean she doesn't have an important job. What pleases you? What pleases you in general? What pleases you? The frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in body. Remember earlier I mentioned like, she is very familiar with the ropes. She's familiar with the process of living, life and death and the cycle. Providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. What pleases her is being herself. What pleases her is this process that she's been in. in involved in for however long. She's always in a high vibe. Her happiness isn't the kind of happiness that we consider it to be. Her happiness is something that is constant. She has a completely different perspective on it, on what happiness is to her. She likes clarity. The unknown card is in reverse here. Remembering, she likes knowing. What pleases her is being always being this process. We have the Empress in reverse. Earlier we saw that she's like, yeah, I'm this magical being. But at the end of the day, what pleases her is being the stable, I am just this, this being. I am just me. I don't have to be this ethereal, magical thing. What pleases me is just being myself. Parties, dancing, celebration, having a good time. <laughs> oh my gosh. The way that life moves and grows and expands out 
in unpredictable and fun ways. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to thank this fairy that came through for us today. What what pleases you about humans in particular? Although what pleases her is I am me, this is me, I am grounded, there's nothing magical about me. Because she said earlier that she was a magical being, I think that what pleases her about humans is the fact that we say that fairies are this super magical, ethereal thing. Flattered. She likes when people are giving generous, when we're giving to the homeless, when we're providing food and nutrients to beings that need it. Yeah, and then when we're working hard for, like, this card is a guy He's kind of like foxy, this guy. Anyways, this foxy guy is, I don't know why I'm saying that, but is building a house for his dog here. He's putting stones, he's working really hard to build a shelter for his dog while they're out in the rain together. So she likes when we're dedicated and hardworking and willing to provide for people that are less fortunate or innocent beings, etc. She likes when we let go let go let go we all know that feeling stuck in storylines stuck in paragraphs stuck in the same loops the same stories she likes when we're like wake up one day and we're like mm -mm, mm -mm. what else is there what else is there we did touch on that she wasn't a fan of nostalgia she wasn't a fan of regrets of going back in the past she likes when we let go and go with the flow we visualize that river. We're flowing down that river into the future. Also likes it when we are wise and mature with our emotions and our feelings. When we're careful with our words and the way that we express our thoughts and ideas. We think twice before we speak. And she likes when we're feeling stable and grounded in one place or when we've had that car for 50 years. She sees the value in what already exists and its potential for longevity. Angels, angelic action. She likes when we're protecting people or involving ourselves with higher benevolent mindsets. Well, thank you so much, pile number two. Fairy, thank you for coming through for us. Hello, pile number three. It still smells like sage in here, which is pretty cool. Obviously, we have to open the windows when we sage to let the energy flow out, 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 but it still smells so good in here. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and ask our angels, spirit guides, friends, family, and most benevolent, empathetic, connected beings to ourselves for permission to allow this information to come through. But most importantly, let's get into contact with the fairy that is most associated with you. What kind of fairy are you? <laughs> jokes, we got jokes. There's a mirror here with a video game controller. We like to refer to this dimension as 3D. This fairy is trying to say that it is a part of our dimension. We often think of fairies as something that's outside of our dimension. It's talking about ourselves. It's like might be intrinsic within us pile number three this fairy i am as powerful as the world because i am the world what is it what of a kind is this fairy male or female no gender doesn't want a gender right now how would you like to describe yourself to us feisty frisky fighty bitey 
The frequency of Divine Masculine supports our strong, focused, and active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom. There was a song that played while I was getting ready to film this video today. I wanted to share it, I just didn't know how it was relevant. So pile number three, you get a song today and I'll link it down below. Hopefully you like metal. This fairy is part of our everyday experience as humans. This is very introverted being who goes with the flow and is not the magical kind of fairy that we want to picture fairies as. Somebody that you want to have on your side. They're very strong, stable, in tune with his power and his ability to manipulate circumstances with his words and thoughts for the highest benevolence of everybody involved. The king of thoughts and ideas, plans, motives. He's who we protect in the chess game. If the king goes out, then game over. He deserves our respect. Fighting in conflict, so feisty. So everything on this planet serves a purpose. What is your job? Fairy for pile number three. Their job has to do with mature elements. Mature elements in life. I don't know if the camera was recording when I showed you this guy with the barbells. Maturity, growth, clearing, mature focus new beginnings, benevolent dividends, staying focused on value and what matters, working harmoniously to create with other elements of the world, and being their most powerful authentic self to the point of gaudiness. Sometimes the sky has a rainbow in it and you're like, really? You're already as good as you can possibly get. Why the beep is there a rainbow there out of nowhere? This job is to make sure that benevolent dividends are being had with maturity, focus, attention to value, to the point of possible gaudiness, to the point of flowers in a field. It was already a beautiful, gorgeous field, but we have elements of strength and combating fighting kind of like when a baby is actually created the sperm has to fight for the spot to that egg all those other f so it, it's involved in some kind of process like that that is obviously an important part of life animals in nature lions have to show that they are the boss of their pride they have to be gaudy in a way and be like yeah i'm this badass like come at me bro they're involved in that realm of life bare nature elements that involve survival of the fittest so the fairy associated with you pile number three what pleases them in general I wish that I was a little bit better at being an interviewer who's never trained in the art of interviewing, but. Passion! Oh my gosh. I can't even make this stuff up if I wanted to. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. What else pleases you? They like sleeping in general they might like winter letting go when things release and let go when that reminds me of winter again and what do you know we have this beach chair this this relaxing chair on the beach in reverse what doesn't happen in the winter when it's snowing people relaxing on beach chairs on the sand not usually. It likes the process of things moving and rushing forward, knowing their place and going for it. Like the leaves just falling off the tree or the rivers rushing 
down that number one winning sperm, honestly, rushing toward the egg. But amidst that rush, they like temperance as well. When things take time to grow and mature and come into their own in time, they like when things are growing and evolving and producing nutrients for the development and the pursuit of life moving forward. I am my own lottery ticket. I invest in myself, take risks out of my comfort zone, and create the life of my dreams. I am grateful for my body and senses, which allow me to experience the world. We have the beach in reverse again. A boat on water in reverse. They like places like where I was talking about the lions and stuff. Earth. They're not part of the down there in the ocean. They're part of the up here. File number three, what pleases, what pleases you about humans? These cards keep flipping out um, face down. And when they flip out face down, I don't read them yet. I wait until a card comes out face up. They might want to say something out of a different deck, and that's why they keep flipping over like that. Woo! They like a lot about humans. Because all of them are face. <laughs> yeah. They're having a lot of fun being made known here. They like honesty, consistency, reliability, trust. When we are open and honest enough to keep surprises at bay. When things are open and honest and stable enough that we don't need those huge surprises, those huge big changes to happen because we've been transparent and gone with the flow enough to be like, oh, okay, let's take it as it comes kind of thing. They like when we are keeping to ourselves and learning and growing from our own company and our own perception, becoming more wise and able to help other people through our own introspection. They like our gaudiness too. They are a fan of this open, transparent. They like it, they see it. They're not only a fan of that because, you know, something that has to do with our egos or something for us to be like, oh yeah, I'm truthful, you know, I'm the best. No, they like it for what it provides. They see the value in us being open and honest, the value in us contributing what we have to contribute when we need to contribute in order to make sure that things are not having to take us off guard, that things aren't having to just crash and burn before a big change can happen. You like those tiny, small, gradual changes that can happen. The frequency of Divine Feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, and soft side, allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all of creation. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to Source. And then we have this guy again. They like it when we're being strong, when we're working out, when we're becoming the best version of ourselves, feeding ourselves healthy foods, our strength, training. I am a soldier of persistence and I dominate resistance. Let's just give thanks for the fairy that came through for you today. Thank you for coming through. Wow, that was really cool. Hello, pile number four. Let's go ahead and ask our angels, spirit guides, friends, family, ancestors, aliens, and most benevolent, empathetic, connected beings for permission to speak to a fairy or multiple fairies that would like to come through who is mostly associated with you. Fairy. Hello, fairy. What kind of fairy are you? How would you describe yourself to us? Ooh, high priestess, okay. Super wise, intuitive. The kind of fairy that would want to come through if we were asking directly for fairy guidance. I practice and become what I love and appreciate and I am unique in my offerings. I have heard a couple times that fairies like offerings and I've never made it an actual point to produce an extravagant offering to fairies. 
However, I have had times where things have dropped. For instance, I had a crystal outside on my balcony a couple years ago that fell out of something that I had. It fell on the floor and because it fell, I just let it. I just let it fall and I just left it there for a couple years, this one crystal. It just fell and I just left it where I was and I just let the wind move it around and do whatever it wanted to do on the balcony and I made it kind of as an offering for the fairies outside. Okay, this crystal's yours now. If you know anything about fairy offerings, let me know. Integrative mysticism, that's, he's the first person that I heard about fairy offerings from. I really like how it says practice here. I practice. Practice is so important with anything in life. Practice makes perfect. All you have to do is start and get going and you, you just practice, practice, practice with anything, right? This fairy has the capacity to think a lot. Think long and hard. They might actually get concerned about stuff, this fairy. They work harmoniously with the earth, probably, or with within their own realm. Familiar with teamwork of some kind. Defensive, willing to stand their ground. They're a protector of some kind when it comes to themselves or their environment. Friendly, they're not going to betray anybody. They're friendly. Sometimes the thought of offerings is a little bit spooky because it's like, oh, you know, am I doing this right? Am I gonna get punished if I do this wrong? That kind of thing. We can relax. They're not malevolent in any way. They're not going to mess up your day if you do the offering wrong. They're benevolent and friendly. They are constant always lit from within. I don't know if they associate themselves with a death and life cycle at all. I think they feel eternity and they embody eternity. Would you like to make us aware of if you are male or female dominant? No. Okay. No male or female dominant for this one. Oh, we have Joker. Hmm. A Joker popped up. <laughs> like you couldn't even imagine the kind of gender that I could tell you I am yet. Okay, let's find out if we have. Oh, okay, infinite wisdom, of course, again, an infinite connection with source, always receiving and transmitting information. Frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. So important to be aware of transmutation and the roles that we sometimes play as transmuters. Thank you so much for coming through. I just want to breathe into my heart. Everything serves a purpose, so let's find out what job this fairy plays. What is your role? What, what part do you play in serving? Every day that I wake is a bonus round to enjoy this miraculous existence. I live every moment like it's my last. Then we have a clock here. They might actually be integral in helping us keep our 3D reality in a state of harmony and stasis. Help to preserve things, prolong certain dimensions. They might say that they are from the inside. Their existence and their perception helps to prolong their environment or their dimension. You know that notion of, this is a really scary thought to me. This doesn't exist until I look at it. Some people believe like something doesn't exist until you look at it, which is actually terrifying. I don't think it's like, this doesn't exist until I look at it. I think it's like, I help this continue existing because of my awareness of it. The universe will always test your temper. It's the natural order of things. We've all had those days where a bird drops a fresh squeezer on our heads. For every positive, there is a negative. You can either allow these sour dips to cripple you, or you can laugh like a raging lunatic. Take note of the lesson and use the experience as motivation to dominate moving forward. Be patient. Be that weird, freakishly happy maniac in the coffee shop. When life gives you lemons, paint those efforts in gold, then feed them to the world. And we have a paintbrush here. Painting. Colors come into existence. Perpetuate color in some way. To explain what their job is, we also have, look, 
we got divine feminine and divine masculine. <laughs> they might actually help in us learning about ourselves, how we want to express ourselves out into the world and, and to ourselves when it comes to unique identities. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. The frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our focused awareness and intention. The frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. The frequency of the heart chakra, the green flower of life, supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Its healing properties harmonize the mind and the body. What this is your jet? What this is your jet? Let's, let's get the tea. Woo! Obviously, I don't know how much of a role fairies play in our dimension. And honestly, I don't know how much of a role we play in other beings' dimensions and in other dimensions. But this is a very clear message. Addictions and unhealthy obsessions lead to loss and defeat. They might actually be part of the karma process or they actually help people realize when they've effed up due to addictions. There's a lot of enablers on this planet because of our hearts. You don't just enable somebody because you hate them. Sometimes you enable people because you love them so much, right? And you have to end up shutting off your heart for a little while in order to actually help them instead of enable them. So this fairy comes into play to help that person see this isn't the life for you. This is not the way that things are supposed to be. If you want to dance harmoniously, continue to thrive and live your best life, chuck these addictions. I think this fairy is definitely around when we are coming to our senses. That's part of their job is to help us come to our senses and be like, wait, wait, what pleases them in general? In general about the world or about their realm or anything like that, what pleases them? The frequency of dynamics supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace, and great joy. I like the earth mixing stuff up and harmonizing between layers. Let's continue. Woo! Conception. When things are flowing without the need for add-ons, conceptions in reverse, then they like things for what they are. They enjoy what already exists. They're just like, I like this for what it is right now. I think they also like being recognized as actually existing, that we portray them as a magical being. They like being this magical, mystical, perceived thing. They like existence. That just keeps popping up. Like, if you keep showing up, you will wear down your en enemy. Persistence. I think that they enjoy the fact that things exist in the first place. They just enjoy the existence of things. With conception in reverse, persistence. They enjoy perception, persistence. They enjoy having that new idea, but then actually following through and seeing it through until the end. There's some people out there that will be like, oh, I have this idea, I have this idea, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. It's like, great, but none of them really, really count until you've decided to follow through with one of them. We're just asking about in general, not necessarily about humans right now. They like that the environment has an idea, integrates new and old, but then follows through and blooms with that one idea that it has. Then we have alchemy in reverse. That's another strong footed thing to enjoy. All the tools are available and we build, 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 build off of that. Everything that's needed for this tree to blossom is already available. It doesn't take magic for this tree to grow. It already has what it needs and it 
continues, it persists. It likes that the earth doesn't say, you know what, I wanna put a flower there. You know what, I wanna put a different kind of flower there. But it never follows through, why would that matter? It doesn't like just put out little beans and then stops, it actually follows through the entire process from beginning to end. It's not magic, it's persistence. Creation in and of itself, they enjoy. They like knowing what they have to work with. They like their boundaries and limitations. And then you have a rocket ship here. It's like, woo, let's go. And anything's possible, let's just go off the deep end, right? Go off into space even in our rocket ship. Because this is in reverse, I think it's saying that it likes our, it likes the boundaries of their realm or our realm or our realms together. Like the way that things stay in their lane. It likes things staying in their lane. It likes that just personal element of it. It doesn't mean that things always have to stay in their own lane, but I think they enjoy that things really do for the most part. When you give something to another person, whether material or in service, a physiological response happens within you. Because we did discuss that they do have the capacity to think and to contemplate and they are very wise. They have the capacity to overthink and to even be concerned about things. A warm, fuzzy feeling creeps in and helps you make sexy time with your happiness. Your brain releases pleasure endorphins, including oxytocin, which lowers stress. Oxytocin makes you feel more connected to others, which is why good deeds are often paid forward. The greatest gift to yourself is a gift to someone else. Pay it forward. Then we also have the present. And then we have death in reverse. This is infinity again. This is a constant presence. It's not bound by our views of life and death. Last but not least, let's find out what this fairy, what pleases this fairy about people, about humans. When we are silent, they enjoy quiet moments. They also like when we're juggling our responsibilities and the things that we like to do when we're doing multiple things at a time. They like the fact that we all have soul contracts, that we have intentions coming into these bodies, even if that's just to enjoy life, just to go on a little vacation on planet Earth. They still like that we have intentions. They like us having these parts of ourselves that they're, that they're showing me right now that are eternal. And they're in the realm of like responsibility or intention or effort. There's something about humans that is eternal and in the realm of productivity. They like when humans are stoic and mysterious about the way that they feel. They like the fact that we don't see everything that's actually going on around us, that we're a little bit clueless a lot of the time. How cool. And let's remember that they are there to help us keep our vices in check as well. So yay, I hope that you enjoyed that. I don't know when I'm gonna get cut off, so.